more things to insert. Um, I think you're getting the idea of what you have to do to insert. Um, let me just bounce back here. So left click to insert, select component, existing part, and a black safety cover is there. And it came in in an awful orientation. And the final thing we need is our screw for our joystick. Let's go into our front view. Again, this orientation button, we can, this toolbar, you can hit your space bar and that will appear. Uh, there's even a little push pin here. And uh, you'll see it on every video. There won't be a time I will not use it. You can get into the different viewports by selecting this. Um, and I'm not a big fan of it because I've got all the views right here and I use this all the time. Um, so yes, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, let's just rotate this. Click OK. We're going to rotate this guy. And again, always save. I brought two more components into my assembly and that's valuable. It's, it's, you know, if you had to go search for something, you gave it a material, um, it's, it's time lost if you've crashed. Left click on this guy and we're going to go to appearances. Um, and let's just describe these for a moment. This here is the face of this geometry and that means that I can color this any color I want. I can color this edge, this inner edge, or face, if you will. I can rotate the back of it, select that face, and give that a different color. Um, I don't really care that the whole piece is completely black. Um, so we're going to go ahead and assign that a high gloss plastic. Click OK. Click that and save. S left click the circle in there. Actually, let's uh, let's use some of the techniques that we've uh, talked about. So I'm going to left click on the joystick, and I just want to hide this component. And left click on that hole. Left click on mate. And left click here and that gives us a concentric circle to circle lined up through the center points and left click on this face over here that's telling us we've made our first selection now when you make something black it's very difficult to see its edges so you always got to move in on it now, that's the only thing about assigning a very dark material like that is it really becomes difficult to see so let's throw the screws in. Okay, that guy's lined up pretty good. And let's go to my front view and hold the control button down and left click, hold it down and drag. Release, hold your left button down. I am still holding the control button for this whole procedure. Keep that button depressed. Left click and drag. And left click and drag while I'm still holding the control button. You'll find that your timing when you get a little tired, um, you kind of screw it up. So practice that. Um, it's invaluable. All right, so you don't have to actually invoke the move command. You can just click on any component that has no um, relations. You don't want to start tugging on stuff that has relationships because then you're going to start um, you're going to find out if, you've, uh, if your relationships don't make any sense because your assembly will essentially uh, collapse is too strong of a word but it's going to give you a headache. 
right? Give that a concentric relationship. I think we're all set on this guy. S left click on that. Left click on this hole. You can see them lining up nice. Now, sometimes you'll see when you left click on the hole and you left click on the component, it shoots out of your view. What that really may what that really means is if you do zoom and you look at it from any direction, you're going to realize that it did in fact line it up in a concentric form, but it was way off the scale. So that's why you would zoom extent if if a uh, zoom to fit, excuse me, if something disappears when you give it a mate. All right, that's just going to quickly tell you, hey, you uh, you've got some problems. That's why I try and line them up a little bit closer before I start adding mates. Alright, so I'm going to select that surface, left click and select my mate dialog box, click OK, left click that surface, left click that edge, click OK, repeat that, left click, that guy's a little too close to the top, left click him, click OK, left click the surface, and left click that, and click OK. Now, right here, it shows the relationship of this. This is a relationship on this screw, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, once this disappears, oh wow, where do I find them? I think we talked about it briefly in um, a prior uh, video, but you can actually go into a button and in each feature, if there's a relation, um, you're going to find that relation right here. And of course, this is the concentric relation, and this is the coincident one. Hmm, actually, they both look coincident. I'm not sure why that would be. Um, but in any event, you will find the relations. Let's go down to the ones we just used open up the mate okay so concentric to line up the hole and coincident to lay it on top of the surface now I may go in and investigate later on to see why there there isn't a concentric but you can quickly go down and that's where when you start seeing that you have errors in an assembly it's gonna come up and something is gonna be red so you can quickly go in and find it right here now in earlier versions all the mates were stacked up down here okay so sometimes you're just gonna go right here and look at all your mates um, but I find that it's a lot easier and you only have a couple that are associated with this so you focus real tight on these guys alright um, let's uh, let's collapse this let's show our joystick All right. Let's hit our isometric view, click save, and I hope you enjoyed this. We're really nearing the end, and uh, join me for the next video where we're going to wrap some of this up. Thanks for watching.